What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna bring you a video on how to get yourself prepped and powerful enough or strong enough to fight the capstone dungeon so that way you can unlock and go into world tier three nightmare mode. I've gotten a lot of questions in my stream as well as comments on my YouTube videos, <clears throat> excuse me, about how to get stronger to prepare for the capstone because a lot of people are having trouble with it. So today I'm here to help you guys out and give you my tips and stuff that I did to help kind of further along and get me to that next level to get to nightmare mode in world tier three because that's where things really start to get um, interesting and dicey because you get the sacred items and then uniques can drop which is really really good gear to help power level your character so the first thing is is you completed the story right now it's time to fight down the capstone dungeon most people including myself when i finished the main campaign i was around 38 39 I think we ended up finishing it though because we were in groups at 41. So the capstone dungeon is a level 50 dungeon. The, <clears throat> I'm in world tier four right now, but the capstone dungeon is a level 50 dungeon that you get and you're gonna fight it right here in Kovashad, right at the main temple here up in the corner. All right, so the biggest tips to help power level your character if you've never done anything else outside of completing the story is the following the first thing that you really want to do is find all your altars of lilith okay i know this is very tedious and it sucks and it takes a long time but you want to get those the reason why the altars on top of the renown is because each altar is going to give you stat boosts this is going to help you be very strong okay especially against a level 50 capstone and then when you look on your renown table here, you have, you'll be able to access the first three tiers because the tier four and five are locked behind world tier three. But you'll get 10 extra skill points if you complete them in every single act. On top of that, you're gonna get five more potion spots. So for those who are potion spammy, you'll be able to have nine total potion, which is the same amount that I have here. So get that. Now, if you don't want to do that, what I recommend is to at least do the, if you don't want to go around and get all the altars, at least go do strongholds, complete dungeons. So that way you can get your powerful, you know, you can get your, your renown and get everything up so you can get that stuff. Because I can tell you doing all the altars is very tedious and it sucks, but you need to do it. Next, the fastest and most efficient way to gear up your character and gain more levels to fight the capstone is to do the tree of whispers we did a whole video explaining on how to do the tree of whispers but the tree of whispers is the main thing you need to do nothing else you shouldn't be doing anything else if you still need renown definitely do that but you need to do tree of whispers it's the only thing when you're in world tier two you have very limited options on what you can do so after you finish the story tree of whispers unlocks okay World Tier 2 does not have Hell Tides. World Tier 2 does not have Legion, uh, Legion events. World Tier 2 does not have any of this extra stuff. You can't do Nightmare Dungeons. You can't do any of these things. So Tree of Whispers is by far the best way. Now, well, why, Warlord? Why is Tree of Whispers so good? Well, Tree of Whispers accomplishes a lot of things to help power level your character. Okay? You're going to need to do Dungeons Only. Okay, doing a dungeon is going to give you five grim favors and you only need to complete two dungeons to do a turn in. Just like we explained in the Tree of Whispers guide on what it does, you're going to get gear, <clears throat> you're going to get uh, gems, you're going to get gold, and then more importantly, you're going to get resources to level up your gear. Okay, because you want to level up your gear to the highest level you can. When you're in World Tier 2, Level this up at least twice. All of your gear should be level two when you fight that capstone dungeon. No matter what. Everything should be level two. I don't care if you're not going to use it later. I don't care if you're going to get rid of it. If you're wearing gear to fight the capstone, it needs to be upgraded two levels at a minimum. Okay? If you can get them all to three, that's even better. Now, the reason that we're going to do dungeons in the Tree of Whispers 
is because it accomplishes a few things. One, we're doing a dungeon, so that's gonna count towards our renown for whatever area you're doing the dungeon in. Two, it, you're completing a dungeon, so as you can see here, you're gonna get the affix or the codex. So you're getting the codex for free, right? There's some that I've done where they're not, I don't have the codex, or I already have gotten the codex, like this right here. You don't see a codex because I've already done this dungeon. So now you're completing dungeons and also getting codexes. Even though you can't necessarily know right away unless you look it up if this exact codex is gonna be for your particular class, but you're gonna want all the codexes anyway because they transfer over to all your subsequent characters on whatever game you're doing, hardcore or softcore. So now we're getting renown, we're completing dungeons, so we're getting a ton of XP, and we're getting codexes. And then when we turn in the Tree of Whispers, our, our Grim Favors, now we're getting gold, we're getting resources to level up our gear and craft, we're getting uh, gems to put into our gear, and then as the reward, we're getting three different options to target farm. So we can get weapons, chest pieces, helmets, amulets to help improve your gear. And when you turn in for Tree of Whispers, when you turn in for here, you have a much higher drop rate on legendaries, even in world tier two. And the gear is much higher. So I'm telling you, we're <clears throat> Tree of Whispers is by far the best thing to do after you finish the campaign. Don't do anything else. I still advise that like getting all your altars along the way is very important because even if you weren't completing dungeons, if you just get the altars, you're gonna be able to get all the way almost to level three. You can get the first two levels, but you won't get the third one. But even then you're talking about five extra skill points and, and five extra potions. So, I mean, that's, that's a lot going into level 50. <clears throat> so Tree of Whispers is by far the best way to gear up your character. Now you go, well, War, I got my gear, my character geared up. Well, what level should I do the capstone? Well, we completed it at level 45. We were in a group, we did it at 45. The capstone is very hard. In a group, I would not attempt it any less than 45. I know there's some God gamers out there and you guys could do it at level, you know, 28 because you guys are gods for some reason, you know, and all the early people said this game was super easy. So you guys can probably do it at like level 10, I don't know. Um, but if you're playing solo, which in most cases people are, I advise that you do it no less than 45. No less. That way you're not going to get frustrated and quit. You actually have a really good shot and it makes the fight a little more challenging and it makes it a little bit more fun. Okay. Um, if you can, definitely do it in a group. It makes things a little bit easier. But make sure everybody is at least 45. Okay. Now, I want to add this one other factor when it comes to this thing. If you are playing on World Tier 1, and you get used to playing on world tier one and you're going to go to the capstone you cannot do the capstone unless you put it on world tier two so if you are not used to fighting monsters and playing on world tier two you're going to be at an even more disadvantage and if that's the case if you're only going to play on world tier one and then switch it to do the capstone i advise you be level 48 b48 then you're then you're safe and sorry you know what i mean then you won't be too upset you'll be able to do the the capstone fight no problem okay that's only if you've been playing on one now after you complete the story you got all your gear you're doing tree whispers you got all your gear you've leveled up to 45 at least if you feel comfortable and strong enough to do it before that by all means do it as i've said you guys are god gamers uh so yeah Go do the capstone, get to world tier three. Those are my biggest tips, okay? Oh, one final tip, I will say after completing the story to power level your character, one final tip. As you're doing dungeons for the Tree of Whispers, if your class, for example, needs specific codexes, specific codexes that you guys need for your build, I advise you that is the first thing you need to go do. 
for example, I'm playing Druid and I'm playing Pulverize. <clears throat> the main skill that you need for Pulverize is this one, which turns it into an Earth skill. Now, this Earth skill is a codex <clears throat> that's located right here in Act 5. So after you've completed the story, go get target farming codexes that you need that you can get for your build. If you don't have them already. Next, do get your Renown up. If you have a good amount of altars and your Renown's in a de decent place to level 1, level 2, then that's okay. Go do Tree of Whispers and only do dungeons. Only do dungeons. That's it. Don't do anything else. And then once you've got your gear and your legendaries that you need for your build, upgrade everything to level two or three. And then once you're level at least 45, go fight the capstone. You're going to have a very, very fun and great time. Absolutely blast the entire dungeon because it's a very fun dungeon. It's a very long dungeon. And then when you're done, congratulations, you're on world tier three in nightmare mode and now you can really really power level your character and get some insane gear so guys i really hope that you did enjoy today's video this is a really really interesting and a very cool guide uh, and i think some people are having struggles after they hit the finish the story because once you're done with the story there's a lot to consume and a lot of information and a lot of things to do on the map and people can get overwhelmed so if your immediate goal is to do the nightmare or the uh, the capstone dungeon this is the guide for you so comment down below tell me what you guys think um, make sure to subscribe if you guys are new and as always stay gaming and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace